Hey everybody, Seth Campbell here with the new Segway Says podcast. Well, this week we've got two great songs, one that's a big hit, one that isn't, uh, that are related to each other by the guitar part in the arrangement. And I'll elaborate on that when it becomes clear what I'm talking about. The first song is called What Goes Around Comes Around, and it's by a group called Shadow Facts that mainly does instrumental music with a lot of world instruments and synthesizers. They're kind of in the same field as Spyro Gyra. Uh, they're a really cool group. I definitely recommend checking out. This is one of the few songs with vocals that they've done. And the second song is Every Breath You Take by The Police, which everybody knows. Now, what goes around is actually a little faster in tempo than Every Breath You Take. And you could keep it that way, and there's a way of making the segue work with it still being a little faster, and I'll talk about that later. But for my purposes, for the first example, I'm just going to slow it down just a little bit so that it's at the same tempo. Both of these songs are in keys somewhere between G major and its relative minor of E. Um, exactly which is predominant is up for debate, but... Since you probably haven't heard the Shadow Facts song, I'm going to play a verse and chorus for you. What I'm doing in the right hand is done by a guitar. I, I think it's a guitar because it's got a lot of effects on it. It could be a harp or a marimba of some kind. Drop a pebble in the water And the wave will reach the shore Light a candle in the darkness Someone somewhere finds a door Turn your eyes away from people And they'll turn their eyes from you It's a lesson hard to learn that What you are is what you do As you can hear, pretty much through the entire thing, there's this uh, pattern being played that if you were to count this as one, two, three, four, I, I'd actually count it as one, and two, and three, and four, and, so that'd make this 16th notes. And I'm not playing the pattern exactly because it changes every couple of measures just slightly. It's more complex than I'm giving it credit for here. But you have that 16th note riff, and that's going to be very important because every breath you take has, of course, a very similar guitar riff played by the great Andy Summers. Um, now, a slight caveat is that I'm playing every breath you take in G. Uh, the original version, it's one of those songs, and this uh, it happens a lot, uh, with uh, British artists I've noticed is um, it's due to the speeding up and trying to find the right pace for the record it's actually halfway between keys it's sort of between uh, G sharp and A but I do it in G because it fits my vocals better and it fits the segue better um, as a matter of fact there's a version by Celtic Thunder that Ryan Kelly sings he does it in this key as well so with that out of the way, this is a verse of Every Breath You Take. Well, to sort of a verse refrain. Every 
every breath you take, every move you make, every bond you break, every step you take, I'll be watching you. Now let me just get something out of the way. This song is supposed to be creepy. It is sung from the perspective of a crazy stalker. It is not a sweet love song. Even Sting is surprised. He's aware of this. He doesn't know why people are playing it at their weddings or for romantic dances or situations. It's not meant for that. Just so we're clear. It's meant to be as creepy as it is. Can't tell you the number of times... You know, I, I found people who said, oh, it's such a romantic song. And when I was a kid, I thought it was a romantic song. And then I actually listened to the words. And then I read the, uh, the history of it. And I have a, a lyrics book that Sting himself put out in which he annotates a lot of his lyrics. And he says, look, you know, sure, maybe when I first sat down, it was going to be a love song. But by the time the lyrics were actually done, it had taken on this persona. And that's what it's supposed to be. Just so everybody's clear. Now, again, 16th note... pattern being played by the guitar and in this case in my right hand the little difference is that where the the emphasis on each beat is pretty much even because especially with this bass line emphasizing every 16th note whereas in um what goes around there's a bit more a I, and I, I call it what goes around because it, the title is what goes around and then in parentheses comes around. So it's an acceptable abbreviation for anyone who thought about getting on my case about that. Not that anyone would, but I'd probably get on somebody else's case if I didn't know. So preemptive strike. But the emphasis distribution is a little different. Da, da. There are certain beats that are more emphasized, and that's going to make this segue a little bit tricky. Admittedly, it's not the single smoothest one I have, but they're similar enough that I've decided it's worth a little bit of clunkiness. So, the, for, the, the first two chords of every breath you take are G and E minor. Now, the first two chords, and essentially the first two looping chords of what goes around are C, or C major 7, so it has this B natural in it, and E minor. But, the chorus of what goes around is G and E minor. Now, just to make things complicated for us, there is an F major thrown in. Around, around, and around. So, we have to work around that. But, that shouldn't be too difficult because the end of what goes around comes around just basically loops on these chords. What goes around comes around What goes around comes around And it, after the first time, doesn't go to this around and around Around and around So it just keeps going between G and E minor. So our best bet is to start with what goes around, f finish it essentially, and loop on these last two chords and drop the vocals out so it's just this part.
start doing the emphasized 16th note bass line in the left hand and change the pattern in the right hand to match accordingly. Now it's not the single smoothest transition as I've said, but it works. You'll notice I'm still playing and I'm now in the second song. ready to start, you just continue the rest of the progression of every breath you take. Every breath you take, every move you make, every smile fake, etc. Now, I like to start, I have done this both ways in performances, and which, which version I favor tends to change. Because if you, if you want um, to do every breath you take first, you have to think a little differently because it ends in... on that. And so you've got four chords you have to deal with G, E minor, C, D. But there's a different way to end this because the police version ends that way and just fades out. But the Celtic Thunder version doesn't fade out. It does this instead. Um, lest, uh, Don't take, I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. It's pretty similar to the police. I'll be watching you. But it just loops on these two chords. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. And that's how I like to end it. I, you know, it's a little more dramatic. But. You're looping on these two chords, and so if you wanted to then start the Shadow Facts tune, basically somewhere you'd have to throw in a C major 7, and you'd probably change the right hand pattern at the same time you did that. Of course, again, you'd have to drop out the vocal, so... I'll be watching you, I'll be watching you. You want to do it after the E minor, so the E minors and the progression stay at the same place. Drop a pebble in the water And the wave will reach the shore Light a candle in and you're into what goes around. Now, as I've said, lately I prefer to start with what goes around into uh, every breath you take and just leave it. Um, I don't like to go back as much with that one, although of course you could, because if you've got the... I'll be watching you what goes around, comes around. Come to think of it, if you're ever performing with multiple singers and you wanted to do this segue, you could have the lead keep singing. I'll be watching you, be watching you. And having backing singers sing. What goes around, comes around. It's one of the occasions where I, um, I regret not having multiple voices you know, physical limitations of life on Earth. So, you can do it the other, uh, the other way. As I said, you can start with every breath you take, go into uh, what goes around. And if you do that, this is the way I performed it for a long time. You might prefer to um, come back into every breath you take and do it in the same way that it comes out of the instrumental section of every breath you take. And what I mean by that is there's a, a bridge. Since you got lost without a trace, a demon, not a 
It goes to the B section, if you will. Oh, can't you see? You belong to me. How my poor heart aches with every breath you take, every move you make. Into the last verse and through the ending. Now, what I like to do, if I'm doing every breath you take first, is do the entire every breath you take, so that includes the bridge, the B section, the last verse, everything. Then go into what goes around as I show you, and then during the last chorus of what goes around, fade the vocals out. What goes around, goes around. the contrast of the B section to hide a little bit of the imperfection of the rhythms because they don't line up exactly. So just a couple more side notes I'd like to make here and is that if you want to end on what goes around comes around it also fades out but I've come up with an ending I'm pretty proud of. I don't know if Shadow Facts played live and if they did well I know they did play live because they I've seen uh, some footage of that but I don't know if they ever played this one live because uh, I believe they had a guest vocalist, G.E. Stinson. Um, but this is the way I like to end that. What goes around comes around around and around round and around So that's how you can end with that one if you want to. Now, the biggest snag with this segue, as I said, is the fact that what goes around comes around is a little faster. It's more of a... As opposed to... So, for the purposes of the segue, I basically just slowed down what goes around comes around. However, if you wanted to start with what goes around comes around and play it in its original speed, if uh, you think it makes a great deal of difference, and a lot of songs... This changing the speed even slightly does make a difference. So, if you wanted to do that, you could just play it in its original speed and basically after dropping out the vocals, comes around. you very gradually start to slow down. Very gradually. the right tempo. And that is a technique that will come in very handy when you're coming up with your own segues, is the fact that you don't need to have two songs that are exactly the same tempo, and you don't always necessarily need to bring them to the same tempo, though personally I find that easier. You can gradually speed up or gradually slow down in instrumental vamps, which is what we just did there. So that gives you a number of options with this segue, and hopefully if you haven't heard of the Shadow Facts song, you'll go look it up. It's on a compilation, I have it on a compilation called What Goes Around, The Best of Shadow Facts. So obviously that particular song is up there, but much of their other work, the, their instrumental work, is excellent. There are songs, uh, Return of the Nairobi Trio, Ange uh, Angel's Flight, um, Shadow Dance, I believe they won an award for. So definitely worth your time checking out. And of course, Sting and the Police. I'm sure you already know, but just in case, look them up too. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next week for the landmark 75th episode of Segway Says. Yes, 75th. Who'd have thought we'd last this long? Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.